Prince Harry did not see his father during his whirlwind trip to the UK this week, but a royal expert believes a reunion is on the cards, on two specific conditions. The Duke of Sussex flew into London on Tuesday, ahead of an appearance at St. Paul's Cathedral the following day, sparking rumors he might be meeting up with King Charles. The relationship between the two has been frosty in recent years, particularly following the release of Harry's Tell, All Memoirs Spare. However Harry didn't stay in the UK very long and is already in Nigeria promoting the Invictus Games with his wife, the Duchess of Sussex Meghan Markle. Earlier this year, he settled questions over whether he would be meeting his father during the short visit confirming that they would not be meeting due to the king's full schedule. As the special ceremony to mark the 10th anniversary of the Games came to an end, the king hosted his first annual Buckingham Palace Garden Party on the same day, May 8. The prince added, however, that he would be prepared to arrange a meeting in the future and hopes to see him soon. Speaking about the father and son meeting soon, royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, I would have thought one is likely to be planned. Given that King Charles has a serious illness, though he is displaying amazing energy in his engagements, he added that the king would likely base his visit on two conditions that it is private and planned beforehand. Despite a trip possibly in the works, Mr. Fitzwilliams added, however, after this week, when according to Harry's spokesperson, his commitments precluded a meeting, the king has sent a clear sign that any future visit is likely to be beneficial only if it's private and planned beforehand without the accompanying media circus, which we've just seen. Despite Meghan remaining in the U.S. whilst Terry was in London, the mother, of, two, also flew into Heathrow ahead of their shared flight to Nigeria. It was originally thought that Meghan would meet Harry in the African country but, instead, she flew to London so they could travel there together. Kicking off their visit in Nigeria couple were pictured on the morning of May 10 at the Lightway Academy with the Gianco Foundation, which provides critical health care and education services across the country. Attending the inaugural Mental Health Summit, Meghan and Harry urged the young people in attendance to stay on top of their mental health. As well as sharing that her son Archie loves construction, Meghan gave a rare update on their daughter Lilibet, who will turn three at the start of June.